Hi, Steve Dodds here, Business Development Manager for the OEM Products for Sato America. And today we're going to look at how our S84NX can do the same work as the Zebra engine here using emulation. So let's get into what emulation is. To understand emulation, the first thing we need to know is that each one of these different products speaks a different language. It has a different set of communications that's used to send down the proper data for formats, barcodes, text, uh, any other information that's required to be printed on the label or any other information that's going to be used as a lookup into a database or things like that. That all is contained in the protocol. And of course, no one has a standard for this. So there's multiple different languages based on the manufacturer. So for Sato, there's SBPL. And for Zebra, there's ZPL. For other printer manufacturers, there might be DPL or EPL. Uh, and all those are different languages that are spoken by the PC or the PLC, and that's sent down to the printer. And it's used to understand what that information is and to be able to represent that on your label. So if we don't have the right language, we may not understand what's being sent. So we need to speak the language. And in order to speak the language, well, we have emulation. Now, to be clear, emulation is something that resides on the printer, and it's what's going to be used to understand and interpret what's being sent for another printer and change that over to something that's recognizable for our printer. So Sato has built-in capabilities for doing that, and it allows us to be a plug-and-play, drop-in replacement for someone else, especially when it's hard to get hold of equipment these days. So let's see what we can do with the Sato if we send down the same format that would be sent to a Zebra in ZPL with no changes. Zero. So let's first start off by what would have printed out on the Zebra and then compare that to the emulation mode on the Sato with nothing more than a cable change. Let's take a look at that. So first let's get this one out of the Zebra. Okay. So we can take a look at this one right here and we'll move the cable over. So we'll go from the Zebra engine and bring this directly back into the Sato engine. Okay, so now we have that connected up and we'll send a format down to this one and see how it looks. All right, here we go. Okay. Here we are. So the one from the Sato and the one from the Zebra. And what you can see is these look identical. They are identical. No changes made, just direct plug and play. And that's one of the great things about the Sato engine is that we can do that with our system. Others don't have that emulation. So we can replace a lot of different printers out there, especially if you're having a tough time with availability and be able to get back up and running with no changes. So you've seen what emulation can do. It essentially allows you to run our printer in applications that may have needed to run a different printer. And now you just need one. So that means anything legacy that you've created, any old drivers, anything that can't be touched, any AS400 information that is set in stone and it must be the way it is today with its ZPL protocol or even another protocol, there's a really great opportunity to switch over to Sato because we can speak that language and we can do it really well. We can incorporate some other features in there so we can do some manipulations for those labels even after the fact they've been created. So if you need to change your format, things like that, there's manipulations that can be done inside the emulator itself to allow you to print that other format. So very helpful. Mm -hmm.